All right, so we're taking our tour through the food pharmacy, spelled with an F. And we are on B, and B happens to be for broccoli sprouts. And broccoli sprouts, I have um, come to learn, are a super potent food um, that definitely needs to be a part of your food pharmacy. Broccoli sprouts contain a lot of bioactive substances, and two of them, glucoraphanin and myrosinase, are the mom and pops of sulforaphane. And sulforaphane is what put broccoli sprouts on the map. Now, all cruciferous vegetables contain mom and pops. So if you're eating these, that's awesome. But if you want a more concentrated dose of sulforaphane, then broccoli sprouts may be the way to go. Think of mom and pops as in different rooms with a wall separating them contained in these foods. But when you chew them or when you cut them up or when you stick them in the blender, the wall is gone and mom and pops get to meet up and sulforaphane is born. So sulforaphane is what we're gonna be talking about today. Sulforaphane has been found to have a lot of anti-cancer effect through different mechanisms, um, an anti-tumor effect with prostate and breast cancer. And one of the ways that it might benefit breast cancer is because it really supports phase two detoxification, which helps us eliminate excess estrogen. Sulforaphane is kind of like um, a substance that hinders estrogen from getting into trouble, from going down the let's make uh, promote cancer pathway. So it's pretty important. Sulforaphane has also been studied with diabetes and in diabetes and people with diabetes, it's been found to improve insulin sensitivity, been found to improve fasting blood sugar levels and been found to um, reduce hemoglobin A1C. Really good stuff. It's also been found to benefit um, the diabetic neuropathy so with mice, with rats actually, they gave um, broccoli sprout powder to these rats. And after a couple weeks, they found that pain was reduced. Don't ask me how they measure that in rats, but decreased pain and increased circulation and in motor um, nerve, in the motor nerves. So it's been found to be very neuroprotective. Um, sulforaphane has also been studied with autism. And one of the ways it's been found to improve the behavior of autistic children is by stimulating heat shock proteins. And heat shock proteins are important for everyone, not just um, autistic children. Heat shock proteins protect our proteins that live within our cells. And when these proteins become degraded or damaged, they promote aging and disease. And so protecting these proteins is actually a really important function um, that sulforaphane provides. Um, it's also been studied with Alzheimer's disease. And in Alzheimer's, it's been found to reduce the amyloid beta, which has been found to be a risk factor for Alzheimer's. Sulforaphane has been studied in relation to stomach ulcers and the development of stomach cancer um, through the H. pylori path. It's thought that H. pylori contributes to stomach ulcer when it congregates too much in the stomach. Sometimes people who have stomach ulcers are tested to see if they have H. pylori, and then they're given antibiotics as a treatment. Well, a lot of people have H. pylori growing in their stomach, and apparently it does well when H. pylori is sparsely populated within the stomach. Kind of does better with a country living mode, whereas when it starts congregating in cities too densely populated, that that's when it's thought to promote the stomach ulcers. And sulforaphane has been found to have a kind of selective antibiotic effect in diminishing the numbers of H. pylori. I just think that broccoli sprouts are such an amazing food. There's so many things that we could probably talk about it, um, but suffice it to say that this food has the potential to benefit you in so many different ways. And I think that it's fascinating how God designed sulforaphane to come about, that he would put two substances in cruciferous vegetables that would have to collaborate and meet up in order for this sulforaphane to be born and to benefit us. And I wonder what these things taste like. <laughs> that is something.